there, beautiful people. I have been working on this behemoth of a video for the past nine days straight. I'm going to give y'all a break halfway through just to recharge brains because this is like eight times the length of my average video. So sit back, get some water, get some food, and enjoy. Nowadays, I play a lot more killer than survivor. 98% killer. I definitely play more killer than survivor. More killer. I'll probably play a little more killer, you know? Mostly play killer. And um, probably survivor. I'd say I'm still a killer man at heart. I definitely play more killer than survivor. Now I play a lot more survivor. I want to be a killer main, but I tend to play survivor more. Uh, I'd say both equally. Came to play more killer. I am more of a killer main. 60% killer and 40% survivor. I play both, but I have a bit of a bias towards killer. About equally. I think I play more killer. Overall, play more killer. Uh, I'd say I play more killer. I play more survival. More so killer since the Blood Moon event. I've been a killer main since I started playing. Play a bit more killer than survivor. Definitely killer. Definitely play more survivor. I uh, play more killer. I play killer like 99% of the time. I'd say I probably play more killer. A lot more survivor. Um, I would say that I play more survivor. Play mostly survivor. Killer, probably. I definitely play more killer. Uh, survivor. I play exclusively killer. I am more of a, a killer man. Yes, I would say definitely that I play more killer. Definitely survivor. I only play killer. Definitely more killer play a lot more survivor survivor honestly i usually play more killer I have about 90 percent of my games on killer more survivor definitely play killer more more killer but slightly i would say i'm more of a killer main uh definitely more killer i'd say killer more definitely killer a lot more killer definitely killer i would say i play more killer i play both pretty evenly killer it's about a 70 30 split I do not think it's something that I consider. If I load into a lobby and I see that there's like four TTVers all with medkits and then on the map offering screen, they are bringing like the most horrendous offerings I've ever seen. Uh, I care about their enjoyment and the fact that I want to uh, make them have as, have as little fun as possible. But then like the opposite applies if people start being cute and funny and whatnot. I guess it's like dependent on who I'm facing. I will usually like sometimes try to avoid time lane because I'm like, oh, I kind of feel bad for these guys. And like when they're falling behind, I'll sort of like lay up a little bit. Depend it really depends on how the survivors are acting and sort of like that kind of influences how I play. I generally put a lot of thought and effort into it to the point that sometimes I will like just eat a pallet, not because I can't avoid it, but because I think it will be funny or it's a great way to end a very difficult chase in the survivor's favor. I don't think about it too much, just kind of do what I do. Depends on how they play, really. If I'm enjoying the game, then I think about it a lot. Oh, I think about my opponent's fun even before the match starts. A lot of the time as I'm choosing my build. A little. Uh, it's not all the time. As a killer, a lot. I, I definitely... I'm always sort of thinking about how my survivor opponents are sort of playing the game. Not as often as I'd like to, but there are certainly times where, especially when I'm playing killer, I actively try and not do things that may hamper the fun of the trial. Yeah, not at all. Uh, admittedly, it de kind of depends on the kind of day I'm having. If I'm having a good day, I'll, I like to give the last person hatch. It's gonna sound mean. Um, I don't really. I more think about it in terms of sportsmanship. So for me, especially like as somebody who plays a character like Skull Merchant, it's something that I'm always sort of aware of. Not like all the time, but definitely into consideration. Like I don't want the match to be, I must win 24-7. I want people to at least, you know, have fun, but you can't please everyone. I definitely think about it a lot. Uh, when I make builds and all that. It, it's something I try to keep in mind because I do feel everyone having a good time is important. I like to give my opponents an honest chance with everything. I I actually think about uh, the survivors playing the game quite a bit. Uh, probably more than I actually think about how much I enjoy the game. I do think about it quite a lot. I think, like, a lot more than I realize. It's not something I'm constantly thinking about, but it's definitely, like at the back of my mind. I don't tend to think about it actively, but I don't try to be a jerk or anything like that. Right from when I choose my killer and the perks I choose. 
I want to make sure that everyone has a good time and I'm not purposely doing anything that makes them think I'm trying to ruin their their fun. I would say always. I try to make the matches as fun as I can. I feel like I think about it a lot. Like I go out of my way not to like hook the same person twice in a row and I don't bring like pain res pop. I try to think that they have a good time. I usually try to play quite fairly as as survivor standards. I think I think about it pretty pretty often. Yeah, because yeah, because they have to be having fun too, right? I mean, if if it's just you having fun, then that's I don't know. I guess that's kind of selfish, right? I mean, that's the whole point of playing a game. Everybody has to be has to at least have some fun, right? I think about it enough that I try to put myself into their position almost all the time. If I care about how uh, their enjoyment is, they'll mostly care about mine. But that changes if somebody is clearly trying to ruin my time. Not much. I, I try to stay neutral about it. <laughs> um, not, not quite often. The other side should have fun too, right? For me, it's based off of like if the killer's gonna camp or tunnel. If they're not playing anything like that, I don't really like, try to do anything to ruin it. I do try to play with a level of like decorum, and I like the moments of like whimsy of just like, oh, what's this? Uh, survivors friendly? You get to live and then carry on playing with the other people. I try to make sure like everyone has a good time. I usually think about their enjoyment whenever I'm like, feel like I'm being too harsh and I don't want them to like not enjoy the match. Usually a lot, especially when I'm picking perks. I, I try to make sure both sides have fun. I, I don't really play for winning too often. Like sometimes I'll go into games of Huntress and just go for long shots. I just, I try to play for fun. I think I mostly think about myself or my own enjoyment. I avidly don't think about it, but I try to keep it in mind, especially because a close match is always a fun match. Pretty often, I would say. Generally, I always keep it in mind. I, I like it being fun for both sides, and I don't like being ultra sweat tunnel you out in the first five minutes type person. Definitely keep it in mind. Very little, if at all. I definitely do think a lot about the other side's fun, but that is because, in my specific case, the other side's fun is also my fun. I think about my opponent's fun by playing as hard and as serious as I can to skip ahead to the part where the game gets tense. Probably more than I should. It it depends on how they play, really. Quite often, actually. I feel like, I don't know, because I play both sides, so it's like, I try to make sure both sides are having fun. I care about theirs if they care about mine. Answering selfishly for myself, I would really like a, not another rework for Sadako, but I would just like a update that fixes some of the minor bugs. They don't add any new killer or map or survivor or whatever the hell, and they just spend the, all of that time just like making the game more fun and work on balances and bug fixing and reworking killers and whatnot. A big run through of a lot of things that people find problematic. Less disconnects, you know, more consistent um, connection to the servers, as well as a big patch for ex getting rid of exploits, especially hacks. Lots of blood point boosts, lots of eerie shard boosts. No, nope, I don't really look at balance, I don't really care about it too much. Going back and updating the older characters like they are with Freddy. Meta perk uh, shake up, like a uh, shake up for the perks. Uh, with an emphasis on shying away from a meta focus so much on gen speed and slowdown. Nemi getting a ugly Christmas sweater. It would be all technical. Um, no content, it'd just be all gameplay improvements and like technical fixes. I'd just say try and balance out the weaker characters and nerf some of the more stronger characters or perks. Probably like the release of either the 5v5 mode they teased or maybe like prop hunt or and that could be tied with like maybe uh, a gen progression speed nerf. Just an update that is that a lot of people want to see. What I really think we need is not so much a balance update but more of like 
a fairness update. Quality of life improvements for everybody and everything in this game. I'd probably update Mayo's Freddy, Skull Merchant, and Trapper. Every killer getting custom chase music. I'd love to see Hooks be a little stronger because I know slugging is just not a very fun way to play the game. A mode like Chaos Shuffle being permanent. I don't want to say like drop like old stuff in the game because people don't like the whole nostalgia thing. But I feel like I mean, they could drop like old costumes that people probably didn't miss out on and it's just like, you know. Changes to some of the less used perks to make them a bit more fun. Weighted system or scale that balances gen times depending on how many slowdown perks the killer has. General comb over the game, fixing a lot of bugs and issues and problematic sp spots. It would be nice to have a few more updates in between smaller things like bugs. More experimentation with um, with uh, with modifiers and more modifiers. Mostly the game modes that are timed and limited that actually bring something new to just keep them permanently as selectable game modes. Anyone who teabags is uh, annihilated. Overhaul of the basic animations. I give each killer uh, like their own tutorial. Jack Kraus added to the game from Resident Evil. A funny idea I don't think is very popular, but I think it will be pretty cool. The pyramid heads, uh, <laughs> rework. Some easier form of blood point gain. Silly killer perks. It's like a whole thing of bug fixes. A complete overhaul of the tutorial system. One thing that I know that I want them to remove is the uh, the invisible walls in some areas. Widespread perk overhaul of a lot of like barely used perks and also like a lot of bug fixes as well. Close the gap more or reduce the range of how strong and weak killers are. Uh, I like to call it a refresh update. Make the game more stable, obviously, but bring old killers up to par with new killers, regards of animations or models, uh, something to really spruce it all up. One where everybody gets all the reworks and all the balance changes they need. Generators specifically, they would be more interactive. There would be more things to do, more things to move around. Like more info being shared between survivors to like bridge the gap between solo queue and swift. I would make it to where you can't try to escape off of hook a massive update in which more game modes besides 2v8 and 1v4 are available a shift in the meta game a lot of things haven't changed but a lot of things have and we just get a little fresh fun instead of uh the basket bt that we have i think the unhooked survivor should lose collision and gain iframes so they can't force the killer to tunnel if they don't want to by body blocking and taking hits or whatever and the killer can't body walk them or shred through endurance with, you know, like Huntress two tap at basement or Pyramid Head or Bubba or whatever. Removing a stale meta as Grim Embrace, Pain Res, as it's it's just really boring for both sides. Uh, Operation Health. Big quality of life update for the game. Like a wellness chapter. A complete health update. A health update. A health update. A health update. A lot of people say operation like an Operation Health chapter, but I don't think that'd do much. Um, no matter what other people say, I don't think it helped the game much at all. It's just that the devs have to look more into uh, more fun for the game and not super worry about balance as much as they have been. Thank you. Um, I really, really love this game and really, really connect with the characters in this game. and. I can't say I've ever really been this invested in a live service multiplayer game and I just really appreciate them making it and keeping it active and everything. I know they get a lot of negative feedback thrown their way and me personally I would just say thank you to them. When you're looking at like numbers and kill statistics and all that sort of stuff are balanced you kind of have to take in the context of that and it's like every time they talk about why they're doing stuff they always mention, oh, kill statistics are like this, when that is, like, not even one of the roots of a lot of problems. Listen to the community less, almost, because I feel like I tend to, I, maybe it's just because I focus more on Reddit than anything else, but I tend to see a lot of very bad outlooks on the game. Might be in their best interest to throw together a second team and just start working on Dead by Daylight 2. Clean up all the spaghetti code by making a better foundation to build off of. Give me more blood points, please. Uh, make 
purple stone base kit on Trapper. I think that'd be sick. Give that slinger more unique skins. Add more little fun things. Well, you should listen to the Dead by, uh, Dead by Daylight community and consider our opinion when it comes to certain things. <laughs> Skull Merchant. Uh, I think it's pretty nice to see some uh, less serious and impactful changes, such as what people call the tomfoolery update, where a bunch of silly uh, perks like Mirror Delusion and Blast Mine got buffed, giving power to perks that were mostly memes instead of uh, questionable changes to meta perks that no one really wanted. Please get them all active. PTB, uh, maybe something to just like throw ideas at and see what sticks and see what doesn't stick. I hope that you can eventually find a time within the schedule that you don't feel like you need to release content all the time and you can focus on sort of just making the game functionally better. You willing to listen to the community, take ideas that they propose, and try them out? I want to thank them uh, for continuing to listen to us uh, after all this time. And I want to thank them for making an amazing game and for refining it so well. They've done a great job with Dead by Daylight. I'm excited to see the stuff that they're adding to the game, stuff they will add to the game, and that kind of stuff. I think it's very cool. Please think about changes before you commit to them. Listen to voices on all sides of the issue. Please, please, please ignore the people who scream the loudest with negative intent. They offer nothing. Behavior, I love, love, love the game so much, but please, please, please listen to uh, the killer players that main a particular character when you update them so that you don't make uh, the community upset. Take the community's concerns into consideration a little more, be a little more quick to deal with certain issues. Thank you for making Dead by Daylight, but please make new player onboarding easier. Honestly, they're not doing too bad of a job. When they uh, tweak killers and perks and everything, they should stop looking only at the highest MMRs. Stop changing things that the player base are mostly happy with. Do you guys feel 100% on what you guys say you want to do, or like, y'all just go back when there's some backlash to it? Keep doing what you're doing. I'm really liking these new killers releasing. When you make changes to killer power or add-ons, please consult the players who understand a character inside and out. Take suggestions from them who know what makes their killers or perks tick. Sometimes you will work on a project for hours only to have it be not liked or not work out. And unfortunately, that's just the nature of our business and creation. And I know I have no experience compared to these people. They know what it's like to go through this process and to have things fail. But I sometimes think that that's why they hold on to certain changes that they've made or certain things they've added for longer than they should when the community is not pleased because they don't want all that work to go to waste. But sometimes you have to do it for the health of the community instead of creating an environment that makes people more toxic. I would really like them to take a look at the overall perks that survivors and killers can learn. In the original Ring movie, you have the guy looking down the Sadako well because he pushed her. But in the game version, it's Dwight looking down the well. So did Dwight kill Sadako? That's what I that's what I would ask the devs. Listen to the casual player base or go back to more original content. Keep on doing what you're doing um, and and just fix the game or update the game or patch the game or leave the game alone um, in, in any way that you uh, you see fit. So add more Maurice. Maybe bring in more guest famous artists to do skins. Like, you know, there's that Oni skin by that one famous artist uh, into game developer lady. I'd like to see that, you know, there's the artists from the fog thing, but I feel like they don't do that enough. Not to listen to some of the bad apples that we got in the community. There should be more investment in in the community, but like in, in the listening of the community and in what please the community. Let your community bring up ideas, I think. Good job, I really like the game, but <clears throat> the sometimes it feels like a little bit more effort needs to put in needs to be put into the updates i appreciate your efforts your hard work and i thank you for making this game great i think you've done a pretty good job so far 
take another look at your priority list. They're doing an alright job so far. I'm sorry for all of the negativity you always get. Improving what we already have in the game seems more important to me than just trying to pump out new characters. Keep up the good work. Besides my obligatory delete plague joke, uh, killers with simple powers aren't necessarily bad. I love the knight, evident, but his power is like reading a college thesis paper. The simplicity of Wraith, Billy, Spirit, Wesker, they're all refreshing in their own ways. We've done a pretty good job so far. Please start listening and involving yourself more with the experienced yet passionate players. I think community feedback, uh, work on that a bit more. And also being more transparent with what they want to test. Um, so just like being more open with what they want to do and then listening to what people want as well. Because sometimes they'll like change stuff that like no one's even asked for. I would definitely want to thank them for making DVD casting a Frank Stone. Just wish them the best of luck with the movie. I hope it turns out okay. Listen to the community very carefully when it comes to making balance changes and overall updates. You're making Five Nights at Freddy's for Dead by Daylight. I understand. We're going from a part, a time where everyone could just say to themselves, this is all hypothetical and we can all dream and imagine what our ideal uh, Five Nights at Freddy's chapter would look like. And now we're going into reality where all options are about to become just the option that you've crafted for us. And I just want to say, I understand. It's okay. Whatever you make, we're going to be happy with as long as you put the love and attention that we all know you for into the chapter. Stop doing things nobody asked for. Just make the game better. Listen to the community more. Give me my Dead Space chapter. Don't base updates only on statistics. Hello, weary traveler. You have ventured far on your journey. Let us sit down and take a break so that your attention span can rest. Okay, back to the video. I love you guys. Just that it is a live service game. The losses and the bad in this game feels so much more devastating than a lot of other multiplayer. The sort of negative outlook people have going into the game. Inconsistent matchmaking. The image of like a toxic community that keeps more people from coming in or wanting to come check it out. The more toxic part of the community. Definitely the community. It's age is starting to show. I feel like the slugging is the big, like the big weakness right now. The core gameplay has not changed meaningfully at all. The entitlement. The new player experience. Very prevalent of an us versus them type of idea. The lack of good sportsmanship. Dealing with the amount of um, burnout. The whole content flow, like a new killer every three months. But like, come on, we need an update to just focus on game health. How overwhelming the game can be for new players. It is very hard to get into the game. Probably being a live service game unless that's cheating. It is incredibly difficult for new players to get into Dead by Daylight. How the community gets divided. I would say the community itself. The whole giving up, like, plague at the moment. We're still on the same engine, same code. It's like, maybe we could switch something up. Some people in the community are uh, not that nice. Communication and scope. It shouldn't take something like a three genning skull merchant to really push them to make that change when it has been an issue in the past. The community? The code that is used is generally referred to as spaghetti code. The balancing issues. I don't think the issue is with Dead by Daylight. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I think it's the content creators, in my opinion. The content creators who think that they're right all the time. And they think that just because they have, you know, like, you know, 500k followers, that, that their opinion is 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 unmatched. Their opinion, you can't fight the opinion. You can't, you know, it's it, they think it's a fact. They think they're right. Most of the community. How weird some of their balance, balancing can be at times. The gatekeeping. I think that the amount of people who will kill themselves or like, like in game, obviously. The illogic bugs that come at each update. Uh, people would hate me for seeing me no reason whatsoever of when I play a specific character every now and then. The lack of organization of what they are doing right now, the lack of planning, I would say. Easily the community. Accessibility features. How competitive and sweaty it's gotten. It's very weak base when they first launched this game. The lack of the ability to show your skill on a character. I just wish more of those underutilized perks 
we're we're incentivized to be used more rather than just triple slowdown. How terrible the MMR system feels. The asymmetry. The community. Everyone always seems to be at each other's throats. Probably the toxicity in the community. The toxicity. The grind for the game, basically. People giving up early. I would say the fact that uh, the game is asymm asymmetrical. Yeah. By the game being asymmetrical, which is ironically, I say ironically because it's uh, also its greatest strength, huh? as far as I'm concerned, the game is uh, asymmetrical, implies, um, as a drawback, of course, that the two sides of the game, in this case, survivors and killers, are not going to experience the exact same things. The bugs. I, th I think we have a quantity over quality problem. Probably the community. Partially, it's community. Survivors giving up immediately almost every single game. It's a really fun game. Uh, it's just kind of fun. I think it's really fun. It manages to be a place both for people to have serious games, as well as a place where people can just kind of mess around and goof off. I think just as a game, it's unique, and I think that's what really keeps people coming back. There's nothing else like it, and anything that comes out like it, it's never as good or will never, like, be at that level. The less toxic side of the community that actually, like, care and support for uh, each other. Kind of like your server. <laughs> the characters and lore. The sheer variety of playstyles you can adopt in the game. In the, game. It's the fact that they're looking at so many like different perks and killers and actually making them like making making changes to both perks and killers and all that how easily it lets you step into a power fantasy i think this community and this game can enable some of the silliest and most <laughs> ridiculous moments i think i've ever had gaming even when you know a competitor comes forward like uh texas chainsaw massacre none of them are able to you know hold a candle to what dead by daylight has accomplished and I think that's something, like, for better or for worse, that I know you, you have to give props to behavior for. The variety of different playstyles for both killer and survivor. It's gonna be weird, because I want to say, I almost want to say the community again, just because of that. For, uh, for a few of its own different reasons, obviously. Because it's a very passionate community that I see around. What, what else kind of game can you have a scenario where you can have, like, Leonis Kennedy being on the ground, bleeding out while, be by, while being humped by a Chucky as Alan Wake, apart from D&D, &D, and fucking Lara Croft as next to them doing generators. The community. It has a core player base. I gotta say all the content. There's just so many things you can do in it, so many killers you can play. Identity. The dedication to creating more content and keeping the audience engaged. The community. I feel like it's very welcoming and fun. The connections it has with other game companies. Uniqueness and variety of different playstyles with it being asymmetric PvP horror game. I think if you really play with killers and survivors that, that understand that there's a specific strategy to how it is you're supposed to be playing, or what the game entails, then I think the game is a lot more fun. The amount of different characters it has from iconic IPs. Pure passion. All the different type of communities that we have. The abilities are all... Like really cool. The game is, in my opinion, a good, uh, a good door for people that are far from the horror genre. It attracts a lot of people. The community. Probably their events and how much effort they're putting into the newer game mods, like Two V Eight, Lights Out, Chaos Shuffle. It's the most successful asymmetrical horror game, and I think even the most successful asymmetrical game I know of right now. The variety they have, like the variety of collabs, variety of play styles you can use, all the different powers. Mass amount of IPs it got in the game and um, how dedicated its player base is. You can kind of like mess around with friends. I like how it acts as a perfect balance between a party and a competitive game. The asymmetry. That's the double-edged sword part right there. I'd also say the community. The licensing. The gameplay loop. I think just allows for a lot of creativity in the game, which I uh, I really enjoy. Just all the IPs that it has. I've played a lot of asymmetrical games, and this one by far has just a lot more different options, I guess. There's a lot of variety. 
The greatest strength is the greatest weakness that is also the greatest strength. It's an asymmetrical game. The fact that the teachable perks exist. There's something for everyone. The diversity. The fact that it's really unique. The variety. The variety. The variety. The game's definitely unique. The variety. Probably it's variety. Variety of killers. It's the Super Smash Brothers of horror. Definitely fun over balance. I think fun is more important, but you get fun with some degree of balance. Balance leads to fun, but I tend to prioritize having fun over, like, things that are balanced. I think balancing would make things more fun. Balancing when it comes to both sides, having an equal chance at winning, because with that comes fun. The more important thing is fun. Fun. Balancing would be more important than actively going for a quote-unquote fun meta, because for me, um, having a more balanced game would in turn lead to a more fun experience. Can't really have fun in an unbalanced game. At the end of the day, I'd rather be having fun in the game rather than having a perfectly balanced system. It's both for me. As it's in the most balanced state it's ever been in, I think I'm shifting more towards fun. I feel like they go hand in hand with each other. I think they are inherently two sides of the same coin. I think this game is going to be a little inherently unbalanced. I mean, it's a horror scenario. It's a horror game. You go in as a big, scary, terrifying killer going to kill everybody, and then survivors have to survive that. So in inherently survivors are the underdogs, and they're supposed to be the underdogs. So it has to be a little balance in the killer's favor. Both, honestly? I'd have to say balancing. Unbalanced game can tend to be very fun and dynamic and tense at times. You have to kind of have a balance. You gotta put a little more salt in the balance, because if things end up being left unbalanced, uh, some sides are gonna have something that's really fun, but actually really detrimental for the game. Only worrying about fun will make things like bully squads and uh, three genning possible but only worrying about balancing makes for a very skilled game. I think fun matters more. I think balancing is important in order for this game to be fun. Balance and fun go hand in hand. I'm probably say more of fun. I gotta say fun. The general game balance mechanics is important. Some things can be detrimental to the fun of its players. Tunneling, slugging, flashlight squads, the list goes on. But what matters more to me is fun. I don't main any character permanently, but go through phases of maining characters I find to be fun. I think they go hand in hand. Fun should be a priority. I would think that they should prioritize balance. If the balance game isn't fun, then people won't play it. Definitely fun. Like I'm not like a huge competitive player. Like, and I'm not really big on like, you know, I have to win every single match. As long as like both sides are having fun. I don't think you can have one without the other. I think you need both. I like to have a nice balance between fun and the balance. Uh, probably fun because, uh, well, I'm a whimsical little lad. Definitely fun. If it's perfectly balanced as it's supposed to be, it'll probably be the most fun. In my opinion, the balancing come with the fun. Could argue what makes a game fun is when the game feels equal. A good balance, which allows counterplay on both sides, is going to add to fun because there's more opportunity for skill expression, but an equal amount for the other side to shut down that opportunity. I think they're both one in the same. Fun. Definitely, definitely fun. I would say fun matters more to me. Nothing will ever be balanced as long as nurse is in the game. So try to incentivize having a lot of fun. I think that making the game fun is what's going to keep bringing players back, including myself. I'd say it's it's sort of both. Fun. I would definitely say fun. I think fun, at the end of the day, it is a party game. I would say 60% balancing, 40% fun. Definitely fun. But I think they're pretty, like, they're sort of closely related, in my opinion. Fun would always be the most important thing, but... Balance kind of goes into that fun. Fun does, uh, in part at the very least, come from balanced. A balance, a balancing the game and its aspects. Fun? I think fun is always going to be more important because without fun, no one's going to want to play, right? Balancing. Because 
when things are balanced, everything's fun. Like you, you don't have like, you know, the 7% haste MFT that it used to be. That that was very unbalanced and nobody enjoyed that. I would say balance is more important than fun because I'd say when the game is more balanced, it tends to be more fun. They kind of go hand in hand. I think people should play more Sadako. No, I don't have any thoughts, actually. My, my brain's empty. The game overall is going in a good direction. I really liked the most recent patch of, like, run-through perks and give them a whole bunch of stuff. And looking at the roadmap, they have stuff for Myers and Freddy planned, which is fun. Oop, my snap. Welcome to the trip. I don't like interviews. Overall, I believe that this game, that as much as I'd like it to be, can never be truly balanced due to the sheer amount of perks, killers, skill levels, and playstyles to consider when making any sort of change to literally anything. Subscribe to Twins Main Sage. Join the Discord. It's fine to get upset at a game. Just remember to take breaks or try something fun like a meme build or playing with friends. People should be careful what they wish for because um, we've seen what both too much and too little balance can do to dbd so while it's good to have balance i don't think we should push the devs too hard because a bit of chaos is always good i'm excited for what what can come later on to this game you're cherished you're loved and you are appreciated and the fog would be a much much worse place without you in it and that goes for anybody listening right now <laughs> There, there we go. Th those are my final thoughts. People just need to chill out. Now here's Wonderwall. Today. Yay! No thoughts had empty. <laughs> I like the nods. Hey, if you enjoy the DVD, then keep having fun. <laughs> That's what they can really say. I hope that more killers are released with fully neat powers. I hope Dead by Daylight has the life in it to be fun for many more years, and that they make the changes necessary for it to have a life way far into the future. Yeah, I don't have any slots. Can I open the locker? One thing is bring back Hogtake's behavior. Give it to me. For DBD, just keep on doing what they're doing with like, you know, taking a taking a step back and going through older content and just kind of reworking it to fit the, I guess, modern DVD. Why pretend that you're right when, when you can't figure out that you have this innate bias in you that you don't even want to engage with you see so I, I don't know i think i think that's i think that's really the problem i think a lot of those those content creators, not 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 twins main stage but those content creators um i think i think are really poisoning the well subscribe to twins main stage add gremlins the dead by daylight please most likely dbd on paper sounds like such a great game we should start focusing more on how fun the game can be, other than if this is meta, if that is meta, what build will cause me to win, what build will cause me to loss. I think just focusing on, it's a game for a reason, and games are supposed to be fun. Drink water, eat fruits, and don't get yourself pregnant, guys. Stay safe. Anyone queuing into another match angry, let alone recording and streaming a game angry? It's not, it's not great. <laughs> If I have a bad game of Dead by Daylight, I like to play something chill, like Minecraft. Or <laughs> maybe Civilization. People here, for the meantime, you really gotta, like, just mellow out about, like, what happens during the games. If, if someone brings, like, a like a perk that you dislike, you just go, like, uh, whatever. Don't be mean to the devs. Don't be mean to anyone playing this game, really. Well, we're literally playing a video game, an extremely evolved toy where we pretend to be a monster or to hide from it. Uh, try, try Goofy Build, do something silly, you know, just don't worry, have fun, that's what we're all here for. Long live the king of asymmetrical games, I guess. <laughs> try to be nice to each other more often, honestly. People are like, kind of too hostile towards each other in this game.